Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I wanted to give you all a quick update on the 224 Valkyrie project. That's right, a few weeks back I announced I'm going to be doing an in-depth series covering 224 Valkyrie and I'm going in a little bit of a different direction in that my goal is to compare a bolt action and an AR-15 duo of rifles to see exactly what 224 Valkyrie is capable of in a controlled environment with the bolt action rifle and with a semi-automatic rifle which is really what 224 Valkyrie was optimized around. Okay, I asked for your feedback and I got your feedback. I really appreciate it and one of the biggest things that I saw as a trend in all of the comments was that you wanted to see an apples to apples comparison between the bolt gun and the AR-15. And there was also quite a bit of a discussion around barrel length and twist rate. And you guys overall are thinking like I'm thinking. If you're going to go with 224 Valkyrie, go big and go long, right? So I'm thinking 20 to 24 inches on the barrel length. There was also a big discussion around the Sierra 90 grain bullets that give this great ballistic coefficient capability to 224 Valkyrie. But there are challenges if the twist rate is too slow and so pretty much across the board people that were passionate about this says do do 6.5 1 and 6.5 inches twist on both the bolt gun and on the AR-15 so I'm looking into that right now in fact with benchmark barrels but here's the deal I have a lot more work to do so next week I'm hoping I'm gonna get my new ultra precision metal lathe and milling machine from Precision Matthews and I've also been super busy kind of reinventing myself, building the shop, getting a whole bunch of new stuff on board including making with metal, a completely new website and section right here on Gavin Tube. So I'm going to need you all to stick in there with me and be patient because it's going to take a little while but I, I really feel like it's going to be worth it in the end because I'm going to take everything I've learned about the AR-15 platform and everything that I've learned about bolt action rifles and precision long range shooting and I'm going to pick kind of the best of the best to the feature and then we're going to be going above and beyond. I just ordered my 224 Valkyrie chambering reamer today and hope to get it next week as well. It might be a stretch goal to completely build an AR-15 barrel and to do a rebarreling on a bolt action rifle, but I'm going to try for it for this project, if not for this project, for subsequent projects. So that's my quick update. Wanted to give you a quick uh, overview of what I have in the inventory so far. Got a bunch of brass from Federal. Starline just came out with 224 Valkyrie brass. This is really cool. I got 500 pieces of that, so I'm planning to show both of these. I have a really nice uh, set of dies here from Forrester, the full length sizing die and the ultra micrometer cedar. And then I have two RCBS die sets. One would be the small base taper crimp set, which will be great for the Air 15 platform. And then I also have the full length bushing die set, the gold series. So lots of stuff coming together, still lots of work to do. Uh, if you have more ideas, by all means, leave a comment. I'm going to have more information in a detailed write-up. So, make sure you're subscribed to Gavin Tube so you don't miss out on any of this action. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to support me, go to ultimatereloader.com slash Patreon and pledge. A monthly pledge is super helpful. You can also get one of these cool shirts. So, until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.